Um, so the first pieces you'll probably recognize we have a nice uh, thin uh, keyboard with like nice tactile soft touch keys, a laser optical mouse, uh, which plugs in by USB. Uh, we also have a USB hub and a USB OTG cable. I'll show you what these are going to be for soon. And then we have a AV connector. Again, I'll, I'll explain that in a little bit. And the last kind of maybe most important piece is a wireless device, which plugs into the TV. And that's actually how we pair up uh, the mobile phone and the TV. Um, and then there's some nice documentation. We have a good, easy setup guide in the box, along with a lot of things online. So if you need any help with the setup, uh, there's lots of resources there. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and show you how to run the setup really quickly. Um, if you have the mobile app, it actually takes you through a lot of these steps. Or if you have the easy setup guide in paper, uh, it does the same thing. Um, so I'm going to launch the mobile app and right away I'll get two options. I'll either be able to continue to my PC, continue to my PC desktop, or set up my jump to PC. So I'm a new user and I'm going to go ahead and do the setup. So if I click that, the first thing it asks me to do is install the device. So this will be a one time thing. So the wireless device has a couple of features here. It kind of looks like a dongle and it has a HDMI output. Thanks, Omni. And it has a um, USB uh, power input. So for most TVs um, that you're buying these days, you'll probably have an HDMI connection uh, into the TV. But one thing that, that we worked on quite a lot was adding the functionality for older TVs, so the box style TVs. Uh, so in that case, we would ignore the HDMI, put that away, plug in the other connector, and now we can use the, the familiar um, AV or CVBS cables. Uh, yeah. red, white, screen. yellow cables. <laughs> Wait, what? The red, white, and yellow cables. That's what, yeah. Red, white, and yellow cables. Clearly on the video here. Um, so I'm going to, for this TV, actually, it takes an HDMI. So I'm going to go ahead and plug that in to the back of the TV here on my HDMI input. And then some TVs would have a USB power already on board. In my case, I don't. So I'm going to, I have a, a power brick. Hopefully you can see that here. I've just plugged it in on a strip. It's basically a phone charger. You can use that. Exactly. Um, so then we just power on the TV. And in my case, it was already on the correct input, luckily. So uh, the boot screen, the launch screen for Jump to PC comes up immediately. And what it tells me here is it's waiting to connect to my smartphone. Uh, and then it has a device ID. In case I don't have the app, there's a QR code. So I could just quickly scan that and I could download the app easily. Um, so we'll go ahead to the next step. Uh, the next piece would be installing the OTG cable and accessories. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Um, so the OTG cable, uh, many of you might be familiar with it already, but that just plugs into your regular USB charging port on the smartphone. And basically it's an extender now so we can connect our peripheral components, the keyboard and the mouse. We first do OTG cable, and then we install the USB hub. And then finally, the keyboard and the mouse plug into the USB hub. So very sim similar to how you might set up your desktop. Uh, you connect all these pieces together. And the last piece that we'll do is actually enable, uh, we call it jumping, but it's mirroring the screen of the mobile phone onto the TV. So that's going to kind of complete our PC experience. So when I click the next button, I see a device ID on my phone screen, and it happens to match the device ID here. So the app actually scans and searches for available devices in the area. Um, 
I'll explain the, that's a good question. I think we can explain that mode, but basically it's a peer to peer connection that we're about to make. So as soon as I tap the ID, there's a wireless connection actually over um, something like Wi-Fi, but peer to peer. So it's not meeting on the internet. So now you can see everything on my phone appears on the TV. So success. Um, the last piece that we need to do is enable OTG. So this is a little bit different on different phones. Um, so very quickly, I open the OTG setting on my phone. And that's the last piece. And now jump to PC creates my desktop environment. Yes. So yeah. That's done. Yes.